So there we can see our finished toolpath working its way around that profile down into the cavity. I can actually grab those two toolpaths and we're going to go to our machine simulation startup settings. We're going to use machine number five, which is the five axis generic vertical machining center with the AB axis. For my geometry, I'm going to tell it that we want none. I don't want any of that geometry for my verification. And for my translation in XYZ, I don't want this shifted at all. I want it to be where the part is in Mastercam. I want it to be placed on the table zero the same way. For my fixture, I don't have a fixture for this part. And for my stock definition, I actually want to use stock from a level. And I believe that solid model is on level 20, so we're good there. And we're going to set this to transform into WCS. And we'll hit simulate. So there's our part sitting on the table. I'm going to uh, maybe slow this down a little bit. I'm going to change my toolpath display to show me uh, the segment. And we'll hit run. So it's helixing in for the cut and working its way around the part. So this is actually going to be a lot better for the machine. Instead of it tilting back and forth with all those five axis moves, it can just do this as three axis machining. And it's a lot more efficient. I think we're just going to stop this and exit out. So again, this shows you some other things for toolpath control, and it also shows you to consider the fact that a number of times you may want to just do simple 2D or 3D machining by just tilting the plane and machining it like you would any other part. Not everything has to be a five-axis move.